Welcome back to AZ Trading everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to turn your charts from this to something as clean as this. But first, I'd like to give a big thanks to all of you guys watching and all of you who have subscribed. We've just hit 250 subs. And as a little reward, I'll be showing you guys how you can make your charts look super clean, which can really help when it comes to analyzing price and only focusing on what's necessary. Because when you look at a chart as messy as this, <laughs> sorry, I've gone a bit overboard here, but the point is without a clean chart, when you're trying to get into a trade and you're trying to analyze price, you'll have a very difficult time on focusing what's necessary. So some important things that I'll show you guys will include what I have in this hot bar, all the indicators that I have. So you can see these gray bars over here show the weekends trading. So each of these sections are separated in weeks, which makes it very clear. Then we have these vertical lines, which separate each trading day. This is also an indicator, so I don't have to draw a vertical line every single day. And the third indicator I use is a session indicator. So the first one is the London session, the London open, and the second part is the New York open. And the box finishes at midday New York time, which is the end of London close. The importance of this session indicator, especially especially in Forex pairs, is most of the volatility will be present during these session times. And you can see more often than not after midday New York time, the volatility tends to drop off like over here. Once 12 was hit, volatility drops off. Once 12 hits volatility, you get the point. So let's start with what I have in this hot bar, which I usually keep up at the top of the screen. And since I have this hot bar over here, I almost never use the ones on the left hand side. So the first two are just curses. One doesn't have a crosshair and the second one has a crosshair. Most of the time I always use the one with the crosshair. So if I put my cursor at a swing low over here and without drawing a horizontal line, I can exactly tell where these two swing lows reach in relation to where my cursor is. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you don't know how to put things into a hot bar, you go onto the left hand side and you just click the star button on whatever you want. The next one I keep is the text box. This one's pretty important whenever you want to write a note. Next we have a little paintbrush where we can draw pictures of encouragement when we're having a bad trade. Then we have the rectangle. This is one of the most common ones I use. We use this all the time when we want to outline gaps, order blocks and things of that nature. Then we have the two positions, so your long position and your short positions. The Fib retracement. I've also included the price range, so if you wanna see how big a movement is. There's actually a shortcut for this, where you hold shift and you left click, that'll also give you the distance and the duration. But the reason why I keep this here is when I'm on my phone, I don't have a shift button, so I can just use my hotbar and use the price range button. Most of the time I'm on my computer, but sometimes you never know, you could just be on your phone and you really wanna check out how big this price swing was. So I guess it's just nice to have. Second last one is the path. This one is pretty much just a trend line on crack, so you can change directions and double click when you're finished. This one's very nice if you wanna make quick predictions or something like that. And finally, I've got this little note where if you place it, not only does it stay into place when you're zooming and looking around, but if you hover over it, it also has a text box. So you can write little notes in there about something interesting that happened at that point in time. I'm just gonna go over the main shortcuts that I use. So the first one's Alt T, this is just a trend line. And if you want it to straighten or flatten out, you just hold shift and it'll just lock on. The next one is V, so this one just draws a vertical line. The main way I use this one is if there's a news event or a certain point in time, I'll draw a vertical line there. And as price goes towards that line, I'll see it and I'll be reminded of that certain news event. The next one is H, V for vertical, H for horizontal. If you love your support and resistance, you're gonna love this shortcut. No need to draw those trend lines over and over again. You can just Alt H over and over again. And finally, Alt S. Usually you'd have to go to this little camera button, click that one, and then click copy link to chart image. There's so many steps. Instead, just click Alt S and you get a link copied into your clipboard where you can just control V and there it is. All right, now let's move on to the indicators. So we've got this weekend indicator, the midnight indicator and the sessions one. So I've just closed them all so we can do it all together. So let's do the midnight indicator first. Hop onto this indicator button up here and type in midnight. Once you've done that, scroll down and find the one made by Sterner for Vegas. Click that one and it'll pop straight into your chart. And by default, it's a little blue line. So up here in the settings, you can change it to whatever color you like. For me, I just use black. So on the visibility tab, I turn off all these ones and I change the hour section to just one hour. What this does is when I go to the one hour chart, I still have those lines. And if I go to the two hour chart, those lines disappear because it would just be too clustered. So now we can see that each day is separated at 
New York midnight time. However, we have no idea when the week starts. Like if I look at the 24th of August, I have no idea what day that is. However, this is an easy fix. Once again, we go into the indicator tab and we type in weekend set. And only this one will pop up, the weekend Saturday Sunday indicator by Veronimus. Click that indicator and it'll pop up over here in a bright fluoro yellow color, which is disgusting. So go ahead and change that color to whatever you wish. I prefer a bit of gray and voila. Now we can tell that this gray area is the weekend. And so the day right after that is a Monday. And if you can't tell that this section is a Monday, then I can't help you with that. So I've just zoomed into a lower time frame chart where we can see one entire days of trading. And of course, if you know your sessions very well, you can tell that if I zoom into, let's say around 2 a.m. in New York time, you know that this is the London Open. But if you'd like an indicator that helps with that, once again, head up to the indicator tab and type in sessions. Now this one's a little bit more different. So have a look at all of these options and you can click on any single one with a source code. So I'll just click on the trader 859, this guy. So this indicator down here should come up. If for some reason it showed up like this for you, do not worry. Just head onto that indicator side, click those three dots and go to new pane below. Once it's there, go into the source code. And now if you can see the title, if you click that and name it uh, whatever you like, now you can edit the source code. And I've put the source code in the description. So all you have to do is copy that, highlight all of this and just paste. Once you've done that, just click save, then add to chart. Uh, I guess we'll have to remove the current sessions indicator and then click add to chart. Yep, there we go. So now you can see that it's all over the screen, but I like it to be on the bottom so it's not destroying my eyes. So go up to here, the three dots and move it to the pane below. I just like it down here, nice and small. And I'll just make the colors a little bit more vibrant. So click that settings cog and just make those colors whatever you prefer. And now you can see you have price starting at the London Open going into the New York open, into the London close. Oh, and also if you want your chart to look the same as mine, uh, right click, go to settings, let's go to symbol. You can take a screenshot or pause the video. These are the colors I'm using. This is my status line tab. You can copy all those if you like. Here's the scales tab and then the appearance tab where I just have a solid white background. All right, and there you go guys. Your chart should look somewhat similar to mine with each day having a separator, each week having a separator, as well as each session having a little separator. Of course, this clean style of charting is not for everyone. So if this type of chart is more up your alley, leave a comment down below and I'll give you guys a tutorial on how I found these awesome indicators. All right, that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for the support and for listening through my sarcasm. It's currently 3 a.m. So I've just ran out of to give. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more content from me. But until next time, have a great weekend and take care, everyone. Peace.